Boom, bang, yes, hello, bam, let's go. Let me increase the brightness and quickly I'm gonna talk about the December future updates. I didn't make a video on this originally, as you can see it came out five days ago, right after the Korean update. I feel like there was no point making it because the updates that we got here are essentially the exact same thing that Korea got in the previous week's update, except it will be split into two parts for us. So uh, yeah, uh, just for reference, this week, so in around three days, we're gonna be getting the Fairy Queen's uh, banners and uh, we are gonna be getting the Harp, I believe, and also some Transmogs. The next week, uh, not next week, but on the next update, which should be around 28th of December, we'll get the rest of the big stuff. So that will be legendary skill artifacts. Uh, there will be the new artifacts, the Galagos rework, all of that. The summoner path requests, not requests, but summoner path uh, quests where you get a lot of rewards, right? So just wanted to update you on that. But today I'll mostly be looking into how you can prepare for that update and as in prepare what i mean is what you can do right now what you can do over the next few weeks so that you could be prepared and first of all receive the rewards faster and second of all make use of current events uh, that are happening okay so i split this into four categories so first one will be about artifacts second will be about galagos about gems and various alteration related things and fourth one about the summoners path quests okay so the first one the artifact enhancement whole rework thing right uh, we will be getting legendary artifacts and these will be a little bit difficult to obtain but to help them out uh, they have increased the blue artifact success rate from 10 percent to 25 percent so any blue artifacts that you have right now or will receive i would recommend saving them until the update comes out because you will have a much much higher chance to upgrade them into purple tier and later into the legendary tier and now next up about the galagos so galagos one will probably be the longest list of what you can prepare so first of all there is currently a lucky bingo event happening in the global server i'm currently on korean server so it's not happening here, but in the global and NA servers, we do have a lucky bingo. For entries, you go into Path of Growth, right? And two of the most efficient ones will be Training and Adventure. So I will say I would highly recommend taking a use of this bingo event and farming a bunch of Path of Training. The reason for that is in the Galagos Ruins, uh, you will need a lot of units. Uh, the units that you need to bring are essentially any unit from natural 3 stars to natural 5 stars, but they need to be evolved to 5 star or higher. And just to give you a perspective, I'm currently in area 63 and I'm nowhere near the top, as you can see. Uh, well, uh, yeah, I cannot show it, but basically the rank 1 person currently is in floor 147. So... If you check how many units I have already used at floor 63, actually, you know what? Uh, this will give you a better view. You'd no longer select 30 of them. You select every unit that is five star or higher and look at the amount of units I have already used. Yes, so with this in mind, I would highly recommend farming Path of Training. In here, you will be getting, first of all, 4-star rainbows, which you can use to evolve your 5-star units. And on top of that, you will be getting XP potions, Breath of Lives, and uh, Breath of Souls, which you can later use to evolve your units even further, because trust me, you will need a lot of them, and I highly recommend, if not for evolving every single nat 3 and nat 4 you have up to 5-stars, then at least preparing the resources for it. For 3 stars, you can evolve them using the duplicate monster pieces, uh, but for 4 stars, it will be a bit more difficult and you will probably need to use uh, the rainbow ones for it. So, 4 rainbow ones each, 50 breath of life each, both of which you get from Path of Training, and on top of that, you'll be getting a bunch of gold, a bunch of monster XP, which you can use to level them up, because Path of Training is a very easy dungeon to beat, usually just a Perna is enough for the wind one, for example. Uh, yeah, you will need a lot of rainbow ones, a lot of Breath of Life, a lot of XP 
uh, which you can use to level these up and on top of that get a lot of crystals back from the uh, lucky bingo event. And speaking of evolving them, uh, for 4 stars it's a bit easier because you can get the rainbow ones, however 3 star rainbow ones are extremely difficult to get and you do not get a lot of them. So usually with 3 star pieces you would do something like sell them from Breath of Life, right? I would highly recommend stopping doing that for now and going to your natural 3 star unit list and evolving every single one to five stars as well there will be a lot for example in my main account i almost evolved all of them in this one i haven't even i haven't even gone through halfway i would say and in order to evolve them to five stars you will need a total of 60 pieces so you can imagine if you want to evolve all five elements for that you will need like good 300 duplicate pieces so i would highly recommend using these pieces to either evolve them to 5 stars or at least save the pieces until the update comes out and you can evolve them later on. Do not use them for Breath of Lives as of this moment. And the last thing I would highly recommend, it's not a must as with evolving units, but I would highly recommend building at least 2 meter sets. Uh, I am talking of course about the mythic version because uh, I will actually showcase you the amount of mobs you deal with in Galagos will be so insane that the meter set will just be by far the best option that you can use. If you have a full mythic Farakel set, so all five weapons, it's a very good option as well because the units will be of the same element usually, so you will be able to quickly like change to the element you want and uh, do that increased damage from the mythic weapon but if you don't uh, you can see that the mythic weapon will be able to deal with enemies much much easier i currently only have the fire one which is why i recommend building a minimum of two unless the one you are building is a light and dark one then one is kind of enough but usually i would recommend two because for example if you go like me and you build a fire one the moment you have to deal with water enemies, like in this stage, you will struggle a lot. So uh, the second one would be better to have a water wind one to cover those cases. Or if you only want to build that one, you can build a light and dark because light and dark element does not have any weaknesses. And unfortunately, it's covered here. But as you can see, I have like permanent level 10 mana region and skill acceleration which will allow you to just completely dominate this dungeon look at the amount of mobs earlier it will be a bit less but later it, it's chaos it's chaos it's complete chaos so definitely build at least two mythic sets or one light and dark mythic meters set and now a little bit about magitek so the magitek system will be expanded currently it's at level six on our servers but in korea this has been expanded to a maximum of 16 the problem with this is the rewards you get at these uh, alterations will improve and the one you want to be aiming at is level 12 because you will start getting this item. This is an artifact summoning item, essentially like a mystical scroll for artifacts. And you will want to go to the Magitek level 12 as soon as possible because you will need a lot of these. Uh, these are used to summon regular artifacts but you can also use them on banners if you want to level up a specific unit and as you can see just like with mystical scrolls you do need 200 of them for a pity so yeah i would highly recommend starting to save your magic deck uh, and why i say save is you will probably be already level six by now if you have been just grinding your daily energy the problem with that is I have crafted a lot of items at level 6, but the upgrades, uh, they do not transfer over. Like, you can craft a thousand items, but when the update comes out, you will be stuck at level 6, 0 XP. So, if you're someone who uh, even struggles a little bit with keeping up with the crystalline numbers, right? If you are using all of your energy to farm it, uh, I would highly recommend sticking to it for now. I am personally not using any daily energy on my NA server because 
while i can farm a lot of this i would prefer to keep it once it comes out because once the level 6 comes out you will be able to get xp for further levels uh, you will be able to reduce the cost essentially so as you can see this uh, at further levels you the system itself will cost less to craft you get better rewards uh, it's just way more worth to save it for now uh, unless you are of course a millionaire in there you're crafting your green yarns every day like 500 of them or well, not even 500 you need like a thousand of them per day so if you're struggling with keeping up with the crystalline numbers save them for now wait for the update and only level them once uh, the update comes out and you are able to push further than level six and the last thing is the summoner's way quest so we got an expansion to these and the rewards are much much better the cool thing is you don't even need to complete all of them in order to access it i think from uh, other summoners uh the first quest or whichever no uh one of them which requires like uh equipping a symbol this one i think uh this requires you to have level 70 summoners that one is not even completed and you can access the next page called the intermediate summoner where you can basically do all of the quests so you don't even need to level to level 70 and i have managed to complete all of the quests on all summoners already so the cool thing about this is if you really want to push uh those rewards so you get uh, legendary gems you get light and dark legendary scrolls uh, multiple of course because it works for each summoner if you want to really push these rewards i would say you can start prepping for them early and luckily the quests are not too difficult so uh, the enhanced armor tab will be just the same thing as a powerful equipment but uh, everything being done on a six star accessory instead of a five star so as you can see equip a gem on a six star weapon equip a sunstone on a six star weapon and equip a moonstone on a six star weapon and whatever you do on that summoner for example uh, if you complete this quest on orbia now uh, it should transfer over at least it transfer over for some of the quests for me so yeah uh you can do it that way second one super easy uh this one unfortunately does not transfer over like path of adventure hard uh you do need to clear the dungeon once it can be level one can be level two it doesn't matter uh but it will not transfer over unfortunately so you will need to do one run of the dungeon on all summoners but after that the quests will transfer over so again quickening a galaxy stone to a six star rune uh enchanting a six star rune with a book and lastly powering up six of them to plus 15 this of course transfers over as well for attribute master super easy you just need to reach level 10 on a single skill most of the skills will be locked behind our uh, levels however i found that the light one uh, i was able to enhance to max at like level 60 or something so Light one will definitely be the easiest. If you don't have points, you can just temporarily set it, level it up to level 10, and then go back to your skill points. But basically, try to have a level 10 skill enhanced, uh, the light one being the easiest, of course. Then uh, we have some spires quests. So this one will require to do four stages of the spires. So you go to the spires, you will need to do challenges for stage 140, 130 120 and 111 what no i can't speak 110 so uh you will need only this stage you don't need to do any of the previous ones but you will need to do all three challenges for all four of these stages so 110 120 130 and 140 make sure that the challenges are completed because they will transfer over if you complete them on one summoner they will be completed on all four of them once you are ready to claim the rewards and for the last one i'm sure everyone will have this order completed you just need to enhance a single purple tier artifact to plus 15 so i'm sure you have at least some of them definitely shouldn't be an issue power one of them up and you have completed all of them on every single summoner and yeah that's pretty much how you can prepare for the update in advance i do recommend uh, to make use of that bingo event especially and farm of some of that path of growth specifically path of training and yeah that's about it and peace